Welcome to Akhangis region, the northern land of nightless nights and European Russia's biggest and northernmost territory. With an enviable area of mid-sized country, it stretches as far north as the France Yosef land archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. We invite you to discover the Book of Pomoria and the Seven Wonders of Akhangis region, the splendor of the Solovetsky archipelago, the granite grange of Key Island, the Cascades and Pinega, the architecture of Kogapol, the sacred culture of Kinazero and Malakareli Wood Fairy Tale. Scattered in the heart of the White Sea, the Solovetsky Islands are of true wonder of the North. The most famous among the multitude of islands is Big Solovetsky Island and its famous Solovetsky Monastery. Its history starts back in the 5th century, when monks Zosima, Savatius and Hermann settled on this island in the cold White Sea. Gradually, the island acquired its monastery, the most famous in the Russian north. The structure from the Nihilitic area, the ensemble of military defense works and hydrolytic structures, harbor, piers, dams, canals, add to the mysterious and astounding atmosphere. The architectural ensemble of the Solovetsky complex is among the sites of the UNESCO World Heritage List. In prehistoric times, as far back as the Ice Age, a marvelous island appeared on the Anagi Bay of the White Sea. The island is less than 3 km long and 800 meters wide. It's only at a fairly low tide that you can walk from the one end of the island to the other. The sandy bottom uncovers the numerous algae plantations rich in mineral substances. As the legend goes, it was the Russian Orthodox church reformer Patriarch Nikon who named the island. In 1638, thrown out by a heavy storm on its shore, the miraculously saved future patriarch asked, Kisi Ostrov, meaning, what island is it? Hence, the name Key Island. Grateful to God for salvation, Nikon found her sacred monastery. On this small island, with its pristine nature, sea beaches, rest homes, fishing sites, beautiful dorms and bonfire picnics, there is a place of tranquility for everyone. A picturesque nook of the north of Russia, the planet's officially recognized heritage, a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. These are the descriptions of Kinezero National Park, the only park in Russia whose heritage numbers almost 100 protected architectural monuments. Kinezero churches hide the biblical skies painted by the northern icon painters. Kinezero is where the Russian north shows its true colors, where man lives following the rules of nature, by faith and truth. Kagapol, the ancient town in the Kangask region, houses an impressive collection of the 16th-18th century old Russian architecture, white stone churches, functional abandoned chapels, ancient farmhouses, holy places and numerous rivers and lakes. Everywhere you go, you are bound to discover something new. The head of the craftsman gives birth to the famous Kagapol clay toy. Its outward simplicity hides a sophisticated philosophy of Pomo land. The purposeful young man with a big forehead, who left his native village of Kalmogory for Moscow on a train of fishing carts, is now famous all over the world. A simple guy from the back of beyond and the son of Pomo fishermen, he secretly spent time learning to read and had what it takes to bring fame to Akhangusk and the Russian north. He managed to forecast scientific progress hundreds of years ahead. The origin of Lomonosov's genius is here. On the white sea coast, what had never known served them. A 
A Kansas region attracts explorers and those who get to test themselves and explore the charming beauty of the northern nature. Experienced and first-time tourists, go for it! Pinega, the land of the amazing cast caves created by nature itself, safely kept by Pinega Reserve, this underground system of cast caves are the longest and the most numerous in Europe. The love to their homeland sends northerners searching for their beloved places. Northern wonders never cease. Russia's first seaport, the Gate of the Arctic, the capital of Pomoria, the city of Angels, Akangusk, the center of Akangusk region, has many names. Akangusk people know exactly where the first stone of their city was laid. It's here, at the Cape of Punavalak. For almost 150 years, Akangusk was Russian Empire's gate to the Europe. They built white stone gestinid walls, or indoor markets here for Russian and foreign merchants to trade and as a protection against enemy. Young Tsar Pyotr Alexeyevich couldn't but like the look of them. The reformer Tsar visited Akhangusk three times. It's here that he saw the sea for the first time in his life and launched construction of the merchant ships. Today, Akhangusk launches research vessels to the Arctic from here. The cities of military glory, Stili, and the monument to Sil are pages of the city's heroic military past. Take a walk along this pedestrian street to get an image of what the wooden Akangusk looked like 100 years ago. Shake hands with the legend of Akangusk, storyteller and painter Stepan Pisakhov. The capital of Pomoria regularly held its long-established festivals. In winter, Christmas charm welcomes visitors to the Ides Palace. At nightless summer nights, street theatre from all over the world stage performances. In just 25 kilometers from Akangusk, you'll find yourselves in a fairy tale. Welcome to the Wooden Russia, the country's largest open-air museum of wooden architecture, Malay Karelli. This complex houses over 100 architectural monuments, the stately churches and chapels, huge forms yards, windmills, barns and bathhouses brought here from all over the region. Here in Malay Karelli, everyone is bound to find that something that they miss in the hustle and bustle of city life. The tranquility of nature, the warmth of rural houses and churches, the soul healing charming, or fun and games of rural festivals. For Pamors, the White Sea was at all the time the sea and cropland and the part of the life. As if its own reflection, the night is fallen on the waves of the White Sea. The nightless nights are time for non-stop merrymaking. This is Gogol, the eldest Russian paddle steamer. Like many years ago, and Gogol is more than a hundred years old, it still takes tourists on the northern Vinak cruise. Stone wonders of Kangas region stops here. The White Sea is closing its last page, but one is here never says. They can't be told in a tale or counted. You have to see them with your own eyes. And if you do, you're bound to be fascinated by Kangas and the many sides of it. The sea, the fishing, the Arctic, the scientific and the cultural, a Kangas clan is always warm and hospitable. <laughs>